first herp of the South Georgia and Florida trip is a marbled salamander. I think we're getting about to the time of year where we're not going to be seeing them as frequently. Yeah. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy it. Under the craziest 10 stack of all time. Big ring neck. That's the first snake of the trip. Looks like he's going in the shed here. Where are you? Very nice. <laughs> they have like an outdoor stage. I think that was a, a pool at one time. This is a chunky ring neck. Yeah. Goodbye. Snake number two, another ring neck. And this guy is a fresh shed. Brand new snake. Very neat. Black racer and a board stack. I nearly lost them. Right now it's just operation don't get pooped on, which is quite a task. Hey there, kiddo. Nah, ow, that was mean. That was inconsiderate. I almost want to like put him on the ground and see him race. <laughs> it would be funny. Okay, go race. Come back to the board stack. What are you doing, bro? A second ago, you wanted to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, son. Thought it was a rat snake at first, just by the way its scales looked. Yeah. Pretty dark adult cotton mouth, just in the bank here off of this culvert. I think this makes snake number four for the day. Not too bad. The mosquitoes are ferocious. Second cotton mouth of the day. Oh, hello. How you doing? Very neat. Pretty pattern on this one. I think I'm a fan. There he goes. It's not the king snake I was hoping for, but we do have a nice southern black racer here. Very nice. Yeah, he hasn't really gotten a lot of poop on me yet. That's good. Anyways, I guess I'll let him go. Next piece over. Another black racer. This guy's a little more angry than the other one. <laughs> Just bit yourself. yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and set the piece down. Gonna eat the walnuts. Hey there, kiddo. Oh. There's a hand, there's a hand, watch. Do you see the wall? I don't like this. <laughs> Keep that tail away from me, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's two danger ends. Yeah. Because <laughs> it can't just be one. Let's make smart choices. There you go. Yep. Oh. Goodbye. All right. Just wrapped up a good day one in South Georgia. We got like three racers, something like that, two ring necks and two cotton mouths. So nothing crazy, but some good quantity to start off the trip. So I think I'll see you guys tomorrow morning from Apalachicola National Forest. Get out of the road, you goon. Don't do that again. First flip site in the Apalachicola forest. We have a big angry broadhead skink. Flipped under 10. Calm yourself down. 
I guess just to peek under this one first. All right, and let's drag this one out, I guess. First snake of the Apalachicola National Forest, Southern Ringneck. Not the diamondback we were looking for, but a snake is in fact a snake. So there's something. Southern Ringnecks have that really cool half moon marking on their underbelly. If I recall correctly, I don't think Northerns have that. Anyways, third ringneck of the trick, or of the trip rather, and first of the day. I can't remember if this is the painful kind or not. I know there's two different ones around here and they're both some kind of bark scorpion. All right, second snake of the forest. Little cotton mouth. Good eye, Tucker. <laughs> cool. Son of mine. Stupid stick. <laughs> Why weren't you a pygmy rattlesnake? <laughs> that is so annoying. DOR pig. Ugh, definitely hit today, too. Yeah, right the Dang, that is so annoying. That is so annoying. It's a decent sized pygmy, too. All right. This is about as far south as you can go in the Apalachicola area. Out there is the Gulf of Mexico. 